Here in central Oregon, ODOT's last unpaved highway has been the scene of its latest upgrade in technology. And you know something? Road graders just aren't what they used to be. First of all, those machines that use a curved steel edge to fix the roads or move the snow aren't called road graders around here. They're blades, and we use them all year round on dirt, gravel, and snow. Here they're being put to use on Highway 27 east of Bend. It's the only remaining dirt road in the ODOT highway system, and it's a perfect place to learn how to run the big machine. We had about a dozen students from all across the state at the latest grader school. They get all the, the safety aspects of the equipment, and being around the environment of safety, watching out for the fellow employees and the tra traveling public, um, knowing the components of what to do, how to how to control your levers. So when you you're out here on the practice field out here on Highway on 27 here, we don't have all the traffic, so there's a better training atmosphere environment. While those blades may look familiar to you as you see one going on down the road, it's not what it used to be on the inside. The technology from the Volvo to the Cat is just amazing. Um, Cat went to a no steering wheel on a on a grader compared to the Volvo has a steering wheel, so it's joysticks. The technology now is for the younger generation who unfortunately sit at home a lot doing the video games, but for us, it's an advantage now because the video game guys can come here now and they can get in that thing and just go right to work. Here's what they used to look like from the driver's seat. There is a lot to keep track of. Nearly a dozen levers and one big steering wheel. This one rolls the blade forward, and that's for finish work. And this is for cutting when you're all the way back. This one right here slides your blade. And this is your circle. And this one right here, this one moves your saddle back and forth. And here's your wheel tilt. Lay your front tires over. Either way. Oh, I see. Yeah. So they're not turning, they're leaning. Yeah, they're leaning. So like when you do ditches or anything like that, when you drop down into a ditch, you lean it to the inside of the bank. So that way you can, uh, it's a lot easier to steer. It stays up on the bank a lot better. And also when you do finish work, like in the ditch, you can actually lay your tires. Say you're doing that ditch over there. You can actually lay your tires this way and it'll help pack the side of the, the side of your shoulder. Now take a look at the cockpit in a new generation blade. This is your turn right here. That steers it. This right here is your wheel tilt. Lays your wheels over. That one lays it back. All right. Um, this is your articulation for the back. And actually, you take both of these and you pull them both up, and that picks your blade up. You have to do them both. Yeah, you have to do them both. That picks your blade right up off the ground. Speaking from experience, since they let me sit in the cab and actually operate this blade, the guy or gal in charge of these rigs has a real sense of control on the road. This gentleman right back here, he, the first time he ever got in one was yesterday. And he's doing a great job, so, I mean, it, I mean, it takes some skill level too, but I mean, it's actually, once you get used to everything, everything is actually a lot easier. Our trainees come from all around the state and all kinds of jobs, even from the office, because during the winter when things heat up, the demand to keep our highways open could become an all-hands evolution. 